In less than a year, Mortal Kombat 1 looks to be toast. And to me, it's music to my ears as a long time, long time fan of the series to see whatever it has been morphed into be rewarded with sales and support. That would be, that would be the worst. Mortal Kombat had a reputation back in the cut, back in the mid to late 90s, man. It was the edgy fighting game. It was the gross, disgusting, sexy, little pixelated piece of madness that everybody wanted to play at the arcade or if they could get a home copy. Preferably on the Sega Genesis, because if you recall, you know, Mortal Kombat 1 didn't have blood, it just had a uh, comical amount of sweat. But to be completely honest, man, it wasn't until like MK2 and then especially with UMK3 came around, and that's when everything started to kick off. And yeah, I was around during the very contentious and very <laughs> protracted 3D years. Deadly Alliance was AIDS. I do like Deception. I actually had, that was kind of NRS proto version storytelling running around as shujinko going through the different realms like that was pretty fun i got to go back and really you know play it through and uh, the final boss in that one holy christ that was difficult but armageddon just a big old asset dump and then you know coming back with mk9 after the little dalliance over there with mortal kombat versus dc he's like what are you guys doing over there it's like that's weird if you want to do a superhero fighting game you should just go ahead and spin it off like that and then injustice came out and that was fun but yeah, in recent iterations, the Realm Studios has really lost their way. And nothing was more apparent than that when Mortal Kombat 1 came out and everybody was looking at that going, this is the best that you got, okay? You went how many years between releases and you've got borked gameplay, you've got a horrible launch roster, you've got a convoluted and dumb story, and oh yeah, why is everybody ugly? Like, what are we doing out here? We have intense gore that is now, if you're going to be banking on something for your franchise, it's kind of getting long in the tooth at this point because x-rays, big gory graphic fatalities, yeah, they kind of peaked at 10 and now, now you're just running everything back again and it's like, that ain't it. And the story mode, watching through that nonsense and just how absolutely stupid it gets at a certain point, like they were lauded for their storytelling. And then all of that came to a head with the, what the great idea of gender swapping Cyrax and Sector. Like, what are you doing? But I'm glad to see that nobody supported the Chaos Reigns expansion pack, mostly because well, it was just bad, stupid content. I haven't even gone back to watch the story mode. I haven't watched a playthrough from anybody that's out there, mostly because well, the people playing them are kind of insufferable to begin with. But I haven't even bothered to try to catch up on the story. Oops, Sidebot looks, I guess, better with the green as opposed to the purple accoutrements but just to see another ugly girl boss bro i don't care okay because here's the thing there has always been a high level of sexuality to mortal Kombat. i'm not out here saying that we need to have all of the titties hanging out i don't need to see sonya blade in a cutoff pair of daisy dukes and a tank top that barely covers up her nipples i'm not talking any of that stuff I'm just saying, if you're going to have shirtless jacked dudes, you should probably have the appropriately attractive women. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. But no, no, no. You need to overcompensate because Warner Brothers at the end of the day has a wonky ass ideas of what ends up working. I mean, they're basically the Stevie Wonders of game development because they think that, you know, hey, we'll just go ahead and drop $400 million on Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League and wonder why did we lose $200 million and then not figure out the success that was Hogwarts Legacy until much later. And now with Warner Brothers' new strategy of focus, er, focusing on their four big IPs, Harry Potter, DC, Game of Thrones, the House of the Dragon, whatever you want to call it, A Song of Ice and Fire stuff, and Mortal Kombat. There's that movie that's coming out next year, which actually looks, I'll be completely honest, the fact that there was some rumors beforehand, you know, them not wanting to have Johnny Cage in it because they didn't want to have a straight white guy, and now they cast Carl Urban and he's going to be Johnny Cage, could end up being pretty good. Because the first one, yeah, man, like the main character was pretty AIDS. Liu Kang was pathetic. Kung Lao, I think he's dead. Spoiler, I guess, for a film that's like, what, four years old at this point in time. But having the only cool characters actually be, you know, Scorpion and Sub-Zero. I guess if you're going to do two of them right, you probably pick the two best ones. But there's a good foundation to build on there. Unlike Mortal Kombat 1, which at this point in time needs to be the inflection to go back to the drawing board. Let Ed Boon, Ed Boon for Christ's sakes, okay? Because he's still, he's got the talent. He's just, there's some shackles that are placed on him, okay? But let's see how bad things really are over there. Which, I mean, I, I, I see Sector, I see Cyrax, and it's like, what have you done? 
According to a new whisper from the outer rims of or other yeah outer rims of Earth realm. Very clever. Warner Brothers Games is apparently moving to cancel all future Mortal Kombat One plans. Oh shucks, it'll miss out on another Evo main stage again. Oh well. Uh, according. Oh, including those uh, related to both new fighters and new story content. Oh, but guys, people are really enjoying Ghostface coming out right now. Like, just how fucking dumb are you guys? How out of touch are you when you announce your big, you know, big content drop? This big Chaos Reigns expansion pack. You got legacy characters, Noob Saibot, Sky, or Cyrax, and Laquanda. I guess it would be Lucy Liu and Laquanda. My mistake. But then your guest characters, the T-1000, way to be relevant, uh, Conan cool i guess if you're trying to attract the boomer audience ghostface and who else like what did you did you just think that you could go ahead and rest on your laurels you're already okay mk11 wasn't really that big of a hit if we're being completely honest like it was a step down from 10 which was a step down from 9 so you had to come out swinging and you didn't with this one why did you think you could get away with this? You're dumb. With the sales failure, yes, of the game's recent Chaos Reigns expansion pack, that's why they are jettisoning any new story content, which I wouldn't imagine. Like, I again, I don't know how the story goes. I'll eventually fill in the gaps on this one. But I couldn't imagine that they'd have another story expansion. That's not really what they do. Word of this apparent DLC fatality was first raised to the public on November 25th, courtesy of user Fate Unknown, a, in order, a noted rather Mortal Kombat 1 specific Reddit scooper, whose track record includes the accurate leaking of Li Mei returning as a fighter, that Kenji would both appear and have his sight restored. Oh yeah, he eventually loses it in the story, spoiler, and then the game a dropping of the franchise's crypt mode. Yeah, that's what... Ah. I missed a conversation with the Mortal Kombat leak subreddit uh, centered on the speculation that YouTuber Interloco, uh, that the next character DLC set, the combat pack, uh, the game colloquially refers to them as. Uh, this could see the addition of MK fighters Jade, Jarek, Blaze, and Cybernetic Triborg, as well as the titular heroine Buffy the Vampire, Vampire Slayer and Marvel Comics Wolverine to the game roster. Well, that would be interesting if Wolverine would come over, given the fact that it's owned by Warner Brothers, who has DC and um, Marvel being more in bed with Capcom than anybody else. That would be would be interesting. I could see Buffy. I could see Buffy uh, responding. Yes, in the opening post, Fade Unknown simply asserted it is not, and when pressed for details, whether uh, is there even going to be a combat pa or combat pack three, the scooper or the scooper bluntly added no. Expanding on his information in a separate thread dedicated to the reveal, yes, uh, further explained, Combat Pack 3 and the second story expansion were planned. Interesting. All cancelled recently. No more characters after Combat Pack 2. A cameo or two might make it since there has been work done on them, they added, offering players a slight glimmer of hope for some level of future support, but I don't know yet. Press for information as to why the third combat pack is no longer in production. Fate Unknown Alleged Chaos Reigns sold poorly. Released on September 24th is MK1's second overall DLC offering. Yakuza had the combat pack one that uh, all brought in Quan Chi, which was already in the story. I'm trying to remember which other, you know, mainline characters were in there. And then he just had a bunch of guest characters that are veritable. Who's that? At Peacemaker, you want to play John Cena in, the, uh, in Mortal Kombat? That's fun. <laughs> Anyways, Omni Man because the Amazon and the, the Homelander because the boys is still popping. Whatever. But just a whole bunch of crap. Just a bunch of Superman clones. And somebody who should have been a part of the roster to begin with. Like, what are you doing? Can Warner Brothers even do fighting games at this point? Because yeah, mu or Multiverse spearheads a $100 million plus loss at Warner Brothers Discovery. Video game division is substantially underperforming. Yeah, because you do games and you prioritize games that have promise and then you severely kneecap them. Or you just allow a bunch of activists like with Rocksteady just run amok. Is anybody really looking forward to a yeah, Arkham Asylum remake? I don't think so. Yes, the Chaos Reigns expansion not only brought with it a new uh, new arena skins, fighters, uh, Noob Saibot, yes, current female incarnations of Cyrax and Sector, Screams, Ghostface, Terminators, T-1000, yeah, uh, Conan the Barbarian, Arnold Schwarzenegger, running it back. I don't imagine he lended the voice because he didn't for Terminator, and that was really off-putting in 11, no, but also a new story chapters, which pick up immediately in the aftermath after the game's main plot, which don't even try to make that one make sense, but yeah, Havoc, y'all remember Havoc from Deception. Well, I do because I was actually a fan of Deception, but he's the big bad. Some Z-list uh, 
Mortal Kombat character that you did absolutely nothing with to build him up as a legitimate threat, as a notable character? Like, stop it. All these offerings in and of themselves were fairly par for the course when it came to Mortal Kombat franchise's usual post-release support. No, not those caliber of characters, because, okay, cool, back in, yeah, MKX, you had Alien, you had Predator, which I understand, yeah, they're long in the tooth references, but... Those are fun-ass, interesting characters, and the first time that you had legitimate crossovers, okay? And then you had horror icons like Jason and, I think, Leatherface, yeah, because they wanted to get Mike Myers, but they couldn't, so they ended up getting Leatherface. And then, in, yeah, in MK11, you had Terminator, you had Robocop, they had a bunch of cool ones, but this time around, like a, a bunch of washed-up superheroes at a time when that fad is very much over, and fucking Ghostface, bro? Why you leave how many iconic characters on the shelf? No Shiva. No proper Sonya Blade, or even some of your newer characters, like, oh no, I think, no, Aaron Black's not in this one. I think Ferratora is now a cameo, and that whole cameo system, it's like the gameplay's even Bork too, okay? I'm like, I'm deriding the story, but having those stupid cameos when instead Mortal Kombat is very much 1v1, if you want to do something new and interesting, you can go ahead and do that, but that, you know, assist character shit, it's, it's not working. You've seen how many people turned out for EVO. It missed. In its first EVO, man, a mainline Mortal Kombat game couldn't even get a thousand participants. That's sad. Yeah, at current, neither NetherRealm nor Warner Brothers yeah, games have offered public comment on the rumored cancellation of MK1 CS uh, Future Combat. Meanwhile, yeah, the last two fighters are set to drop. Uh, T-1000 and Conan still be worked on ahead of their planned release sometime in 2025. Yeah, and the fact that there isn't even a roadmap to let you know, what are we doing on this one? Okay, when's the T-1000 coming out? When's Conan coming out? I even think the ghost face was a little bit of a surprise going like, okay, when's he gonna drop? Don't know, soon-ish, I guess. Have, have fun with that. But yo, you take a look at what's going on on Steam, and it wasn't even that long ago. Okay, even over the past month. Cool, you ended up peaking. Not too sure if that's when Chaos Reigns ended up dropping. It must have, man. Okay. No, yeah, it was at the tail end of September, the 24th. That was your big peak, and uh, Ghostface must have come out on the 19th or something like that, but you have yet to recover. It really is a dead game. You look over the past six months, you look over the past year, it... it it just ain't it. It just ain't it. And it's sad to see some another franchise that I very much love and hold in high regard just reduced to well, ashes. But play with identity politics. You play with woke gameplay and storytelling. This is the logical consequence of that. If it was a fun fighting game, there would at least be people still playing it. But it's not even, mechanically speaking, a worthy offering to the franchise and the sooner that we can move along from this the sooner that mortal kombat could be made great again like they did with nine some 15 odd years ago at this point in time we'll see if they still got one more in them but at this point in time with this current crop of game developers not entirely sure so with all that said thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo i want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone